All right, we are back now, 445, talking about the weather coming this weekend. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's still days and days, but we right. were just chatting about, you know, the, the, the severeness of this cold outbreak that we're about to get um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning. So mm -hmm. it's a solid 48 hours. Thankfully, it's only 48 hours. I right. mean, it retreats pretty quickly and we're back to 40 degrees by next Monday. But, you know, this is going to be significant cold that we haven't had the likes of in years. Right. Um, and, you know, you got to think about folks that you know are susceptible to this right. and you know keep an eye on your neighbors and your elderly friends and things like that just to make sure everything's kosher and okay and something um, to mention too todd before that even i mean we're seeing some of that snow this morning yeah. and rsu 11 oh, gardner right. area yeah. yeah they have a delay two hour delay that's so. right right there on the kennebec yeah I, it's not a lot of snow right this morning so it's it's doable you know it's not like it's going to take hours for plows to get roads all cleaned up and things like that. But the timing isn't great for this commute. So we have snow falling right now. Back edge has now cleared the mountains and foothills and central highlands. But there are still a couple of more hours of snow to be had. Temps in southern parts of York County are right around freezing. It's not accumulating very well, but you get up closer to Portland. We're in the 20s back through Naples, Lewiston. This band right through Topsom and out over to Wiscasset is putting down some decent snow rates at the moment. All of eastern and coastal Maine below freezing. So it is sticking here and we'll end up with a couple of inches in these spots. So the commute will be slippery. Basically any surface, whether it's a sidewalk, a walkway, your stairs, roads that don't have some fresh salt out there on them are going to have a coating of snow on them and it's going to be slippery because of it. This front slides off the coast. High pressure works in. We develop sun, which will make a huge difference during the middle of the day. But the air mass behind this front is cold. Tonight will end up being the coldest night of the season, and I'll be saying that a lot in the coming days. Snow tapering off and ending by 9 a.m. You know, the last flakes are clearing Washington County, but a lot of slippery spots out there. Your commute's going to be slower. Midday clouds clear and it'll turn a lot brighter. The snow will melt because of that sunshine, and I'm sure that crews will throw a little salt out there too to make the roads better. Afternoon and evening, mainly clear. Breeze picks up out of the northwest, and look what happens to our temperatures. They slide from a midday high around 32 into the 20s and teens as the sun goes down. And tomorrow is going to be an exceptionally cold one. We'll only have highs in the 20s despite nearly wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. Temperatures recover a little bit on Thursday, preceding this Arctic front right here. And this is a true Arctic front that blasts through Thursday night and will wake up on Friday morning with a temp around 10 or so. The temp won't rise at all during the day. That's how potent this air is as it blasts in. So we'll only get to like 12 or so and then it gets a lot colder. The winds are gonna howl out of the Northwest here and the core of that Arctic blast will be right on top of us on Saturday. That'll be one of the coldest days in recent memory and coldest feeling ones because of the wind that'll still be blowing. The good news is this retreats pretty quickly. As I mentioned by Sunday afternoon, we're seeing temperatures recover up to about 30 and then on Monday it's 40 degrees. But Saturday morning when we wake up, we're going to have teens below zero along the coast, nearly 20 below zero inland and 20s below zero up in the mountains. And these are not wind chill values and we will have wind on Saturday morning too. So it'll feel more like 20 to 40 below zero. Now to put this in perspective, these types of temperatures so far this season, Portland has not gone below zero. Our coldest temperature in Portland, 11. Bangor dipped below zero, but just barely two below. Last year, we did get below zero significantly, seven below for Portland and 17 below for Bangor. But I think this air on Saturday morning will be colder than this. And that's why this will be the coldest air mass that we have felt in years. Small crafts are up through the day as the winds pick up out of the northwest. They're going to gust to 30 knots. We've got seas of three to five feet. So here's the seven day forecast after the snow tapers off this morning. We clear out. We'll have a high around 32 and that little round of snow that we just got will be melting this afternoon. Mostly sunny tomorrow. Highs only in the 20s. We wake up at zero inland along the coast. It'll be in the single digits. 
Uh, Thursday's partly sunny, back up to around freezing, and then we don't see that occur again until Monday. Mm -hmm. High of about 12 with no temperature rise during the day on Friday. Uh, Saturday is going to be brutal, and I don't use that loosely, you know, and I don't right. talk, you know, sternly that often when it comes to cold because we're Mainers and we're, you mm -hmm. know, used to cold. But this is going to be a different kind of cold. Exactly. You know, even those hardy snowmobilers that have all of that gear on mm -hmm. are going to think twice about going out on Saturday with that howling wind, you know, up through right. the mountains and all that good terrain that, you know, all of us want to play in, but it's going to be difficult. Right. That's for sure. All right. Stuff to keep an eye on. Thank yep. you, Todd. Mm -hmm.